What is up YouTube? Prepared to wander out in the woods today and we are going to be looking at a new stove. Haven't done a stove review in quite a while. Got a new one in and uh, it's pretty cool and I'm pretty anxious to play with it today and actually cook my lunch with it. So it is going to be a cooking in the woods video today. So stick around. Alright, so the stove we're going to be reviewing today is from a company called Simple Theory Gear. Simple Theory is out of Michigan, here in the U.S., and uh, they are hand making, well I shouldn't say hand making, but they're, they're, they're producing a, a, a stove that is made in the U.S.A., uh, that is designed by them, it's their idea, and I was lucky enough to hook up with the owner and talk with him and get his ideas on it and uh, we've come to an agreement he sent me his stove and he's gonna let me try it out today and I'm gonna shoot a video for you so everybody wins it's gonna be a lot of fun um, I love cooking outside uh, I've been cooped up with this whole COVID-19 crap and it's just nice to get out in the woods and and do something different so what we're gonna look at today is this system right here and first thing you should note is that it does come with this bag, this Frog Togs uh, stuff sack. So the stove comes with that. And there's the stove. Now the Stanley Pot, this is mine, and this is what's kind of nice about this stove is that the Stanley Pot and other containers of the Stanley Pot size, like a like a clean canteen or um, even I think the Pathfinder uh, water bottle fit inside the stove so it makes for a nice nesting ability and first thing that you notice with the stove is that it is very heavy duty it is not lightweight um, there's no way that I'm going to crush this thing with my hands it is made of, um, of heavy steel uh, it's just, you know, you can tell it's, there's been thought put into this. It's just not another wood-burning stove. And what's cool about this is that it is not another wood-burning stove because it burns several types of materials. Um, from wood to using it with a Trangia or alcohol-based stove to using it with fuel tabs. And just the, how you position it with the ring or how you have it this way or that way, that determines what kind of what kind of fuel you're going to be using. So, for a wood burning stove, it's going to be like this, and I think they call this the speed plate. It goes on top. This is the the ring that keeps the the pot from not falling in. Gives it a good solid base. So that's your wood burning configuration. It's also your Trangia burning configuration. Now if you want to burn espit tabs, you can actually flip it over, do the same thing, put your speed plate down, and now you've got the proper height for an espit uh, solid fuel type of, of uh, burn. But what we're going to do today is we're going to do a wood burning stove because that's what I want to cook with. And then we'll do further testing, other videos coming up in the future. But for today, it's going to be wood burning only. And I'm going to show you how I'm going to try to use it. I've been watching videos on this thing, trying to get an idea how other people use it. And I think I've got a pretty good handle on what I need to do. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, I got my ground cleared off a little bit. You can tell it's very wet. Um, so no fear of starting a fire. I'll put the feed port towards me so I can get to it. <clears throat> I'm start with a base of small twigs. I 
each stove has its own kind of um, characteristic as how it burns and how it could, and what's the best way to start it. So it really is trial and error. You need to get the stove out in outside and you need to cook with it and play with it and get it started. Uh, that way you have an idea of what it takes. Now I'm going to add some fat wood to this as our accelerant. That fat wood going. Start adding some twigs. It's been kind of wet this week. Had rain a couple days ago, a day ago. So woods are a little damp. start off nice and slow with these stoves give it a chance to spread the fire around get a good get a good start to it before I start adding big stuff Okay, the fire's going. I'm going to get some uh, food on. So what I'm going to cook today, I'm going to use my Stanley pot. And um, that fits in the pack stove really well. But what we're going to cook is some of this Uncle Ben's Ready Rice. I like this stuff. It's, um, it's for the microwave, but uh, it's nice because it has all the moisture added to it. So all you have to do is break it up, throw it in a pan, add a little bit of water to it, and heat it up. You don't have to mix anything. Um, so if you don't mind packing in the water weight that's in this package, the moisture, it's not a big deal. Um, it makes for a really good rice, uh, it's, and it doesn't cook. It doesn't take long to cook because it's already basically done. It just needs to be rehydrated a little bit. Um, I like to break it up, and then what I'm going to add to that. I'm going to add some of this Chata uh, Chilo Rio, shredded seasoned pork meat. Uh, I get this at Walmart. Um, I haven't seen any other stores, but um, it's pretty cool because it's an already cooked shredded seasoned pork. So if you want to add that to the rice or add it to a taco or something, it's ready to go. So this is just needs to be heated up. So we're going to add that to it. And then, of course, um, some shredded cheddar cheese and a little bit of hot sauce, and then we're done. So, I'm gonna get this going. Well, I got a good fire. I'm gonna add a little water to the bottom of the pan. I'm also using a new um, utensil tool from Gerber. This is the Gerber Complete. 
I think is what it's called. It's got a spoon, a spork, a spatula. It converts into tongs. Uh, I'll have to do a review on this on its own. Because um, it's pretty cool. Alright, let's get some of this rice in there. all this meat so we'll have to save this for later good stuff. <clears throat> so, pros and cons of the stove. Pros, um, it's well built. I love that it has an elevated uh, box for the fi for burning wood that you get a lot of good um, I think a lot of good ventilation and um, air pulling up from the bottom to help feed the fire it's incredibly easy to use as a fire st uh, a twig burning stove um, didn't have any real issues with it at all I think the only con is if there's any it might be the weight to some people it, it's uh let's see got it written down here it's 11.87 ounces so that's not terribly heavy um, I know like the firebox stove is the original is very heavy um, this uh, is probably maybe in comparison to that a little bit um, but it's not too awfully bad um, it would be awesome if they, they came out with a titanium version. I think that would be really cool. Um, but for a con, that's not, it's really not that big of a deal. Um, because you want your stove to be heavy duty. You want it to be able to support the weight of your pot. Sorry, I can't stop feeding. It's so good. You don't want your pot falling over. You don't want that thing so light that it's going to blow away. Um, you can really pack it with wood. It's got a good size box to it. And it's just really easy to use and I, I just love how it's made. It's really well made. It has a great design. It seems like it, it uh, feeds air very well. Um, once the fire got going it was, it was raging and added wood to it and it kept going. Um, I stopped adding wood because the the food got hot real quick so I didn't have to really burn a lot of wood I cut a bunch of wood that I didn't even use so it's very efficient <clears throat> and it looks like it burned down the, the twigs down pretty good to just some ash and uh, a few leftovers but you know I think a windscreen is definitely um, a must with that kind of stove because there are so many there's so much venting around it you want to make sure that 
on days where there's a strong breeze and there is a strong breeze going on today you want to protect it on one side uh, that way you don't blow out everything um, but other than that I love it I think it's a great stove I'm really looking forward to using it in other configurations carrying it in my pack coming out and cooking with it there's definitely going to be more videos for sure because um, I think they've really done a remarkable job with the stove it's a home run in my opinion um, check it out on their website simple theory gear uh, price point is around uh, $32 I believe and I think they might be having a sale right now so you may want to check it out and they packed the the box with some extras I I got a fire starter I got some fat wood of course it comes with the the um, the stuff sack that goes with the stove so for all in all for the money you're spending um, I don't think you can beat it uh, there's lots of stove designs out there um, this certainly isn't the most compact one it's but I love that it nests with my Stanley pot because I love my Stanley pot <clears throat> and I know a lot of people do so definitely check it out all right that's it for today thanks for watching as always um, please make sure you like subscribe and share that really helps the channel out and don't forget to check out our Facebook group the Facebook group is under prepared wander on Facebook it is growing we have well over a thousand members and it's getting bigger every day so check that out for extra content from me and all the contributors there um, yeah and uh, also check out Instagram uh, that's growing as well all the links are down below and uh, we'll see you next time on the prepared wander thanks for watching